Nil-nil at half time, but the New Saints certainly had the best opportunity in the first half to take the lead. Yeah, we had um, probably three or four very good chances, but we've um, broke the line of their defence and um, made the keeper work. But I still think we, we need to be doing better in those chances. Um, you know, obviously that then puts pressure on your second half. We like lap in first half, but the only chance they've had in the game, they've taken it. And teams do that to us, and we've got to learn and learn quickly. And, and like last year against Queen's Park, we had a lifeline right at the end with a, a good Ryan Brobble goal. Yeah, it was, and that's what Brob's about. Um, very good. He's, he's, he's dug in there and he's, he's got us out of trouble right at the death. And I thought as soon as he's done that, it'd be our year. But unfortunately, uh, penalties weren't good enough this time around. And what were your comments to the players at the final whistle? Yeah, I just I, I told them um, if they're going to do anything, if they're going to... Um, Get the, get the penalty saved or they're going to go over, make sure you strike through them, pick your corner you know, and strike through them and, and make sure that if, if the ball's gone past that keeper, he's had to make, you know, he's, he's had to make hard work of it. And I don't think uh, the three penalties that we, that we put to the keeper's you know, side were, were of quality and, and, and pace and power because it was too easy for him to save if he goes the right way. So a little bit disappointed on that one. I've given them the information. You know, um, Mazza's penalty, good. Knew where he was going to put it. But if we, you know, we, we can't be looking at penalties too much, it is a lottery, isn't it? And, and I know nerves uh, certainly get to players when they do take the penalties, but we should have wrapped that game up early uh, first half and, and then gone on to make it more comfortable for ourselves. And it didn't help when Simon Spender, the third substitute, went off injured. Yeah, and, and, and that that's happens. You know, it's, it's one of those things. It's I do it again. I'm not going to be uh, here, uh, standing here saying, you know, it's my fault, it's my decision. I'm, I'm sorry for doing it. I'm not sorry because last week Simon came on and created the goal for, for Aaron to score the goal. So um, I do it again. Um, I'm, I'm not. It's one of them. Nine times out of ten, um, you're going to last the game with 11 men. So one of those things today. And finally, Scott, results elsewhere in the JD Cymru Premier today mean that if we beat Newtown at time on Tuesday, we go back to the top of the table. Okay. Every every cloud has a silver lining, I suppose. But. Uh, I'll be focusing on that tomorrow. Um, at the moment, bitterly disappointed about going out of this competition, as should uh, the players be, and obviously the fans and whoever have come to, to uh, four or five hours' journey today. I feel feel for them as well because, you know, in 90 minutes is that is that a great performance for them to, to come and support their club? I'm not too sure.